How's it going viewers? Thank you guys for watching this video. In this video I'll be showing you guys how to do a soft reset on a Samsung Galaxy S7. And a soft reset is just to reset the phone. Let's say we're going to go sell your phone, give it away. Uh, you just wanted to get rid of all of your information, reset it back to factory settings. That's what a factory reset will do. So I'm going to demonstrate it. The first thing you're going to want to do is back everything up. If you don't have everything backed up, you will want to back it up just so you save all your information uh, before it gets removed. Um, I recommend uh, either having your phone plugged in or being above 50%. You just don't want your phone to power off in the middle of resetting itself. Uh, that can cause some uh, potential problems in the future. Um, and what you're gonna wanna do is just start off by going into your settings. So apps, then settings. Once you are in settings, you will then look for backup and reset right there. Once you're in backup and reset, go ahead, do a factory data reset. So it says reset your phone to its factory default settings. This will erase all data, including files and downloaded apps. So everything will get removed. Once again, you might want to save. If you want to save stuff, back it up just so it's saved. Once you select that, it says all data will be erased from your device, store, uh, storage including your Google account, system and app data, phone settings, download downloaded apps, music, pictures, all other user data. And then so it's not going to delete your Google account. It's just going to remove it from the phone, uh, that type of thing. So if you, ha if, you, if you have read that and see everything you, that you want to get rid of, um, just go ahead, hit reset. And it says all your personal information and downloaded applications will be deleted and cannot be received. Uh, if you have it backed up somewhere, you can then on a new device bring them back in. But it will be taken off the device you are resetting. I'm going to select delete all. And it shuts down the phone and it starts to do its reset. So it's installing a system update. It's erasing. Installing system update. Screen went black. Looks like it is starting back up. Please wait while we prepare your phone. And here we are in the startup wizard. I'm just going to go ahead and go through this. English. And then to activate, you're going to want to put a SIM card in. I'm just going to go ahead and use Wi-Fi. Next. Set up Wi-Fi. I'm going to go ahead and type in my password. Now that I have my password in, I'm just going to go ahead and connect. So it's connected, I'm going to select next. From here you can set up a email, I'm going to go ahead and skip. It's checking the connection.
It's doing software update. So this is a question, allow Google to regularly check uh, your device activity for security problems and prevent or warn uh, potential harm. I'm just going to go ahead and decline. You can accept it. Uh, got another device. If you use another Android device, you can quickly copy your current uh, setup to this Samsung. Uh, copy or no, I'm just going to hit no thanks. And then next. Let's check in info. Here it's going to ask for a Google account. I'm just going to go ahead and skip that just because I don't want any of my information on here. You sure you want to skip? And then here you can adjust the date and time. If the time is off for whatever reason, you can adjust it. So I just set the device to the mountain standard time. That is where I'm at. Gave me the correct date, correct time. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And here it's going to ask for your name for personalizing the device. I'm just going to select next just because I don't want to put a name in. And it's asking you to put in a fingerprint. Since if you are looking to get rid of the phone, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and hit skip or no thanks. Uh, skip anyway. Gonna go ahead next. And then English and done. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this as well. So here we are, we are back on the home page. Uh, default, default picture. Uh, I didn't use up very much battery life uh, because this phone was used for tutorials and there was not much information on it to be removed. If you have more information, it may take longer to remove it, update, stuff like that. So keep that in mind. Uh, this took me about, uh, about seven minutes. Uh, this video was edited so it was shorter, just easier to watch, just so you can see the steps that it went through. Uh, so there you guys go. That's how you reset your Samsung Galaxy S7 to its factory settings. This will also work on the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Uh, so you guys can do that on that phone as well. Um, that is how you reset it to factory settings. If you're going to give it away, uh, give it to somebody else, that sort of thing, just to get all your information off of the device. If you guys found this video helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer them. If you guys like this content and would like to see more of it, you guys can subscribe. And I also have a Samsung Galaxy S7 playlist you guys can check out. That's all I got for you guys in this one. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.